Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Sorry because of some technical issues that video was disconnected. So we can continue from the question uh, where we left from question number 15. Okay. Which compounds of an element in period 3 reacts with water to form solution with a pH greater than 7? Remember that the oxides of metal, metals oxide, okay, they are basic. What that's supposed to mean? When metal oxides reacts with water, okay, they will give you a base. That's why their oxides are basic. In non-metals, their oxides are acidic. So when they react with water, they will give you some acid. Now here we're saying pH greater than 7. pH greater than 7, it means it is a basic basic solution because solution of pH more than 7 is considered as basic solution less than 7 is considered as acidic solution so here you see this is the oxide of metal it will give you what it will give you a base what will be the base you will get NaOH so the pH of NaOH is more than 7 so it will be the basic solution which equation represents the first ionization energy of fluorine what is ionization energy it is energy required to remove an electron from an isolated gaseous atom required to remove electron isolated means alone gaseous when it's alone it's a form of gas so removing electron here electron is not removed it's added here it's an ion form already it's not the first ionization energy because it should be neutral here it's again ion but here if you see what is happening electron is removed so this is the correct answer which statement is correct for the halogen group either they are reducing agents oxidizing agents a chlorine can be oxidized by bromine or iodine can be oxidized by uh, chlorine first let's see if they are oxidizing or reducing agents we know that non-metals halogens they normally gain electrons to get stability they have to gain electrons because this is their tendency they gain electrons when they are gaining electrons when they are non-metals they gain electrons they become halide ions but they are oxidizing agents why they are oxidizing agents because when they are gaining electrons they are helping the other atom or element to become oxidized when it helps the other it's called oxidizing agent according to the concept of oxidizing agent when, when a substance is called an oxidizing agent when it himself takes the electrons and helps the other to get oxidized so they are oxidizing agents they are not the reducing agents now if we arrange them this this series of them we have fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine if you go from top to bottom like top to bottom this fluorine like this is activity series for halogens this is the best oxidizing you can say the very good and this is the least in terms of oxidizing what that's supposed to mean that means that the lower one is uh, least one and the upper one is the highest one bromine can oxidize iodine but iodine cannot oxidize bromine chlorine can oxidize both of them bromine and iodine but these two cannot do with chlorine fluorine is the strongest one it can oxidize all of them but these they cannot do fluorine okay so here what's the correct answer iodine can be oxidized by iodine by uh, iodine 9 by chlorine why because chlorine comes up and iodine comes down but this answer is not correct why it is not correct because it says chlorine ions can be oxidized to chlorine by bromine see bromine is down in the group bromine is down in the group down one cannot uh, oxidize the up one okay because chlorine is a better oxidizing agent as compared to bromine okay which of the following statements are correct lithium to cesium the melting point decreases the melting point decreases yes it is true why it decreases because the size increases uh, the radius uh, increases so melting point decreases the melting point increases from F to I for halogens yes it is true why it is so because the intermolecular forces increases 
the melting point from sodium to argon for period 3 element no it will not decrease why it will not decrease because the radius will decrease when you are going from left to right atomic size or radius decreases which means what strong force of attraction to break it you need high melting uh, high energy so melting point will also increase so the correct answer is what 1 and 2 which element is a transition metal transition metals are from group 3 to group 12 this is in group 6 so this one is the transition metal this is group 2 so no this is also in group uh, what is the G group it is 14 and aluminium is in group 16 you can check from the product table when sodium potassium and magnesium are arranged in increasing order of atomic radius smallest first which order is correct these three sodium and magnesium they are both in same period they are in period 3 if we arrange them we are going from left to right the small one will be magnesium because it has more nuclear charge then it will be sodium but if you look at for potassium it is in next group like it is in the lower the group so it, it its size will be more than both of them so the correct order will be what magnesium sodium and then potassium these two are arranged magnesium first because it has more nuclear charge and potassium for high weights the it is the most one because it has the highest charge which oxides produce an acidic solution when added to water so we discussed it before that non metals have non metals are acidic why because when they are uh, uh, dissolved in water you can say they react with water they give you acidic solutions SiO2 is not the correct answer why because it does not dissolve in water P4O6 yes it gives you uh, the respective acid it gives you phosphoric acid and SO2 it also gives you sulfurous acid so the correct answer is what 2 and 3 which series is arranged in order of increasing radius here we want to talk about radius also these are all isoelectric species because we have Ca2 plus we have chlorine negative and we have K plus Ca2 plus means how many electrons are there 18 because two electrons are lost chlorine uh, it has atomic size number sorry 20 chlorine has 17 one electron gain again 18 and potassium is 19 one is lost so here is again 18 so these are isoelectric species we discussed this before size is inversely proportional to atomic number here we want increasing radius so the smallest radius will be of what it will be for which one which has the uh, biggest uh, size so the correct answer here is C why it is C you can compare this relation we want to write in increasing radius so the smallest radius will be of that one which has the highest size so Ca2 plus then K plus and then Cl negative is the correct answer ok guys that will be all we wanted to discuss for today in another video we will talk about the paper 2 questions uh, which are also the part of IB thank you so much guys thank you for your time